Right, legends, in this video, we're going to talk about Bitcoin and specifically this little bit of price action right here. Is it the end of the parabola? Is the nuke incoming? Are we going to 12K? Everyone in crypto Twitter is going crazy about this move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shed a little bit of light on it. I'm going to give what I think. I'm going to give you exactly what I think Bitcoin is going to do. The itty bitty bad boy Bitcoin, not being a bad boy at the moment, being very well behaved. Look at this gorgeous move. Parabola to the upside, which we were calling from all the way down here, if not even January 1st. I'm going to put a video, guys, above my face now. And you can go watch that video and it shows all of the prediction I, the, all of the predictions I have made this year. Go and watch it if you want to be stunned over my crystal ball. Over the crystal ball. But we're going to talk about this bit of price action here, guys. Because a lot of guys are going crazy about it. So I'm going to give you my thesis, what I think is going to happen next in Bitcoin. And actually, my January 1st forecast has kind of played out now. So I do need to do my next medium term forecast. And my last stream was all crazy. The microphone was going weird. So I want to do a, a clear, crisp and concise video. We're going to go through the MDX trading bot. I'm going to show you the trade it's still in now. It's actually up like 14% still. Um, ROI on this at the moment on 1x, guys. It's absolutely phenomenal to see it. Uh, we're going to go through the institutions. We'll look at the, CB the CBBI. We're going to go through the commitment of traders and everything like that, guys, to give you the full-blown context and everything I'm looking at. I'm going to go through my general, my whole entire process. This is what literally, when I do these videos, this is what I do. And I go through about 18 to 20 different things, cycle them and make informed decisions in that way. So guys, this price action here, guys. Yes. So there is actually, everyone's saying it's time to short, it's time to get out. There was actually a short to be played here. And if we do go to a lower time frame on this, guys, and look at the hourly and we zoom in on this, you can see actually Bitcoin did manage to break some structure. Okay, look, obviously, guys, I'm not going to say break of systemic structure because this area has to be lost next for it to break some systemic structure. And that will be the end of the parabola. But let me just show you on the micro time frame what we're looking at here. There was quite a nice short to be played because Bitcoin did actually make consistently some consistent lower highs here. And this nuke down, guys, wasn't the, the place where you're looking to get the short. But this retest was. And you can see it came into this order block almost, you know, perfectly. I, you know, I don't even know another way to describe this. On the nail, on the dot, as I ordered, you know, it came to the door. And you can see here that that wick there was a very nice place to get into some laddered shorts. Not saying that this is going to be the next big nuke down to 12k that everybody's talking about right now. I disagree with that thesis. But looking at logical SR, guys, that was a nice short to be played. And it has, if you did get into that position and you're already in profit from longs, you've basically head short, you've taken profit essentially, and you can leave that with a stop loss at break even. And if this does, if it does actually end up being the top, then you've caught the top and you actually have a very nice logical SR trade there. But a lot of guys are saying this is the top and I would say that I disagree. And the reason I disagree, guys, is, is that there's a common phrase me and my friends use in the trading sphere. So in the MDX trading group, in our VIP group, uh, MDX algo group, we have this common phrase we use. And we say when the market is rising, there is always one more. And we do it in the bog voice. There's one more. There's always going to be one freaking more. And there is always one more. When you're trading markets, you're trying to time the top of things like we've all tried to do, where, whichever experience level you are. If you think you're too, if you think you're smarter than the market, if you think you're smarter than the market and you begin to try and start shorting and thinking that you know where the top is, there's always just one more and one more and one more pump, which keeps, get, keeps getting you stopped out. Like Gareth, he's just like, I'm just short here. Okay, no worries. Let me actually make it so you can see because my face is probably in the way. He just shorts here. Oh, no, there's one more. Oh, he shorts here. Oh, no, there's one more. Oh, he shorts here. Oh, no, there's one more. And he's just been consistently getting stopped out. I've done a million videos on this. Look at my Twitter. Uh, actually, there is a video of me dancing as well. But what, come and watch this video on Twitter, me talking about the Gareth short and what not to do in that situation. Missing out on 32% gains just because you're trying to short the top. So I'm saying this, guys. The amount of times there's been one more pump. The likelihood is, guys, because it's very difficult to time the top, the reason it's very difficult to time the top is because there's always one fucking more. And we're not here to play the one more and try and time the top. We're here to go with the flow and go with the trend and put the probability in our, in our court so we can win and make money, not try and be right. We would rather be rich than right. Some people would rather be right than rich. And guess what? Most people who would rather be right, they don't become rich. So we need to be objective here. There's probably going to be one fucking more. It's in a upwards. It's an upward sloping parabola. It's been mooning to the fucking. You know, it's it's had a, a really really good run, guys, on this. And I do think I'm gonna go into my medium term thesis in a minute. I do think there is gonna be a, a big crash. I've said 42k or 48k in nuke. The reason we've gone higher, and this is just going by flat fucking objective truths, is because everyone's been shorting this market, guys. Like at the end of the day, 24 hours. Read it now. I'm just refreshing it in fresh time. Still 52% short. Let's come down a little bit again. 
And the five minute was about 54%. It's probably going to be 52. So it's actually coming down to 50-50. Okay, so this has actually changed, guys. This changes in every single five minutes. So actually, we're beginning to see some longs coming in, which is a good sign that the top is in. But like I've said already, there's always one more. Yes, the long to short ratio can be, could be changing, but it's still 50-50. So the momentum is still to the upside. Now, there's probably going to be one more. And I do think that if the, if the one more comes, it's either this is the top now, okay? It could be the top. I'll tell you how you trade this. This could be the top. I think the probability is lower that it is the top. If we do get the one more, which we always fucking get, I think it's 48K is very likely going to be the ceiling. I don't think we go any higher on the next move. And I do think it's either this one or this one that we do get the top in this move. We do have momentum coming down on higher time frames. I would say a higher time frame. Let's just be a little bit careful there with Bitcoin because obviously a higher time frame will probably be a daily on Bitcoin, not a four hour. So we are actually, to say as well on the momentum indicators, we actually are at a point right now which we haven't had many times in history. Okay, so this is the oscillator stack, MDX Trendmaster oscillator stack. And you can see here that the actual momentum indicator is in territory, which hasn't actually been seen many times in history when we came up the, SD, of the when we came out of the fdx dump if i can freaking speak sir it's been a long day we did get to this type of read at around 90 um but guess it, look at it we didn't actually dump when we hit that we actually dump when we got the reverse or the reversal signature which would be the bearish divergence okay that's that red signal there that was when you actually want to get into a short not just short blindly into overbought or oversold it's overbought for a reason it's going up so there's not many instances, guys. If you go back on this indicator, which a lot of a lot of you guys obviously had, there's not many instances, guys, when you get to 90. And they do usually coincide with the rough area of an area which is overbought. You can see here is a good example. We did eventually come down. But I'm not going to be blindly just saying we're above this and we're, you know, we're overbought, so I'm going to short. No, we're an up the slope in parabola. This can get pretty fucking crazy at the end. And we're actually getting towards the very end of it now where there will be probably the very, very explosive end of it. And it will just be a complete cliff up. Yes, this could have been it. I'm not convinced yet. You usually get a bigger wick on the daily on Bitcoin when it's the top and the, and the weekly as well. We do have a slight wick on the weekly. I would just like to see a little bit more coming into this, guys. Slightly more wicky stuff at the tops. It's not there just yet. If it did pull back a little bit more, maybe I'd change my mind. But what I'm saying is right now, guys, is on Bitcoin, you're long until proven otherwise. I've said this one trillion times because you're not here to try and time the top. Don't try and time the top. Go with the flow. It's up. It's literally... Uh, there's always one fucking more in uptrends because greed takes a long time to build up. Fear happens very quickly and everyone jumps out at the same time. So it's long until proven. Otherwise, you consistently keep doing that. I do think there was a nice long here. There, there was a short to be played, obviously, on the short term. Let me show you how to analyze this on the, on the lower time frames. There was a short here, guys. Look on the five minute time frame. You can actually see it. Let me make it on the, on, on the hourly. Okay, I won't go on the DGen levels. If you want to, you know, keep it real, go on the hourly. I will go to five minutes in a second. Don't get, don't get upset, legends. I'm gonna go on the, I'm gonna go on the lower TF. So there was a short coming into this order block. This here is resistance, okay, guys. Low high, low high, low high. Here's resistance, okay. It came back into it very aggressively. There was a short to be played here to hedge against the downside. Like I've already said, guys, I don't think this will be the resulting top. If it is, fine. You took that short. You're in a good position. If we do, okay, if we do come down and we actually do lose this lows here, obviously the lows here, and this crucial area, this is the area which you're going to be like, okay, this was the top if it is. If we come down into it, it's very likely, guys, we're going to get support. And you can see it from the MDX auto charting tools indicator. Turn it off and turn it on. You can see this blue box. It's probably not very light. I, I have them very faint. This area here, guys, it's essentially just the jet or the spring from the last move. This area here, if we do come into it, it's likely we're going to get a bounce off it. Okay, this is a very crucial area of support. Then you're likely going to get a bounce. That is where we're looking for. Are we going to get... We might even have a downward slope in Parabola, but we will probably do some sort of trend line. If we do get that, guys, and we lose this area, I would then say the probability is we're going to go significantly lower. And I have said, guys, on the medium term, um, everyone's calling for it now. Let's just say for... Let's just say that the top is in. I think there is probably one more move to the upside. The last hurrah. I think they're probably going to get one more uh, to around 48,000. Fine. But let's just say for argument's sake, this is the low. Let's just say this, sorry, this is the top. Let's just say when the top is in, okay? Whether it's now or the next one. I think it's either this one or the next one. Let's just say the top is in. I do think, guys, that Bitcoin is going to come back. And I do think it's, gonna, it's going to hit a KSR level of $30,000 again. I don't think it's never going to see $30,000 again. If it doesn't, fine. I'm long until proven otherwise, guys. I've been long since 25K. I did a tweet saying I'm going to be absolutely going in 
on altcoins. You can go on my Twitter and scroll back. I'll try and find it, put something on the screen. I said I'm going to be going in and buying all of my crypto if we hold 25k because that means the bear market rally is over. And we held 25k. We actually went a little bit lower, 40, 44, 24, sorry, $24,800. And that's when I was completely back in for this move. So I'm long until proven otherwise, right? Uh, I even said in January, I even called the bear market rally. So all this year when FTX happened, we had the bear market rally. But since 25k, I've been pretty much net long, like everything in. And what we're doing is, you know, if it does carry on, fine. I'm long until proven otherwise. But I do think Bitcoin will come back. I do think Bitcoin will retest $30,000. This is a very, very crucial KSR level for multiple years. I do think Bitcoin, if it goes to 48, we will eventually come back to it at some point and then continue up. I would say that's the highest probability for me. Halving, you know, we're coming into it. Let me actually show you the halving charts because I do want to make a point here about where, you know, the, the, the cycle uh, context is. You know, when we had the halving, this purple line is the halving here and this purple line is what where the halving is going to happen next, okay? You can see, guys, we did have some significant volatility before we had the uh, the blue sky breakout. But just before the halving happened, we had some significant volatility to the upside and the downside. That was the last bear market. I'm not going to do the boring videos everybody does on fucking... Everyone's like, oh my God, I'm just going to go back in history and just show you all the things that happened. I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to show you one other example. Guys, again, massive volatility just before the halving, actually. We had we actually had uh, a sig two massive um, uh, jets to the upside with the consolidation ascending triangle. And then we actually had this. And then you got to see here, guys, it did move back before halving. It did have a 40% correction, okay? So that wasn't up and then flat. That was up and then 40% back down. So historically, the, 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 the halving is going to create excitement, is going to create volatility. We do have some big macro events. I'm not going to go macro smacko on you and be like, yes, yeah, the ETF means it's going to go up when, it, when the news comes out. No, it's going to be the biggest sell the news event you've seen probably in crypto's history. It's going to very likely nuke when the news actually hits and the ETF is approved. It probably goes up and then it probably goes completely opposite direction. And I was calling that before anyone even knew what it fucking meant. I was tweeting about the ETF being the buy the rumor, sell the news before anyone was even talking about it because essentially the ETF news has been riling up the feathers of many investors and many traders. And that's essentially what's been priced in here. We would have got this move very likely anyway, but it's definitely causing a little bit of throffy volatility, okay? Because none of it's quantifiable anyway. For us to say, oh yeah, the ETF is why it went up. No, not quantifiable, no evidence see on the flippers. So I do think there's gonna be some volatility here, guys. And we do have also, just don't wanna go too macro smack on you, we do have the Fed fund rates going to flip, and we do also have um, the inverted yield curve. We've come come above that, and there's not many instances where you don't get some significant drawdowns and, and pullbacks in SBX after an inverted yield and interest rates coming down. The last three or four times doesn't mean that's happened again, but pretty pretty good confluence there. Okay, so I do think 30k is going to get tested on the medium term again. I think it will be unlikely that it didn't. And when we get that, that's going to be the, the the biggest screaming buy ever. It's going to be the same buy as when we broke out here. So this is the biggest screaming buy ever I've seen, actually, probably in, in, in Bitcoin's history. And you can draw a trend line going like this. When we broke out of that trend line and then we came up to around $12,000, that dump there, that was the easiest buy ever in history, obviously, because we've broken out long-term support. Long-term resistance, it, it drew back a 618 on it, sorry, 786, and then you got the retest of the trend. So I think we get something like that. Um, on the medium term, doesn't mean it has to happen right now. Uh, and then obviously long-term, guys, I don't really need to bore you to death with long-term. You know that uh, the CBI is at 62. Again, when the CBI gets to around 60, you begin to see some volatility, even here as well. And I'm back here. So we're getting to that area where it's like, you know, we're in the middle, going, we're kind of flat lined up and then we do some kind of volatility sideways stuff. And then that's where a lot of people get messed up actually. But CBBI, very unlikely. We're, we're, we're obviously, you know, this would state that we're 62% of the way to the top. Obviously, we know that this isn't linear to price. So 62%, 62 on the CBBI doesn't mean you're 62% of the way through a bull market. It just means that it's getting near to the top of where these 11 um, indicators in this index are pointing towards, okay? Uh, commitment to traders, I will go through that in a second. But institutions, as we quickly mentioned, guys, yes, we're still at 9.3%. Amazing. And yeah, guys, I just want to make a few more points. Stay with me. If you're watching this to this level, keep watching this video because I've got some really nice, interesting stuff at the end. The trading bot as well, guys, obviously we know it's still 14% up. Um, I use this freaking trading bot as one of my own trading strategies. It's actually built around one of my, my own trading strategies. So if the bot is long, it nearly got stopped out earlier though. I'll show you actually. If you guys who are pro, um, if you have MDX Algo, 
and you have a pro membership, if you uh, click on, well, I won't, I won't bore you to death how you do it, but essentially this will show you where the stop loss is for the MDX trading bot. And the last long was down here, guys. We all know that it's caught this move beautifully. That's what it's designed to do. It's a swing trading bot. But you can see here that we have a dynamic stop loss, um, a, a dynamic way of executing stop losses with the bot. And you can see here, even if it goes through this bot, you know, the, this stop loss line, it won't actually confirm the stop loss. It will only confirm it if we close below it. And that's how you should really be programming your automation is with, with closes. You don't want to do wicks. You're just going to get wicked out too much in crypto, especially in fucking crypto with the wicks because the order books are so essentially leveraged up with all these market makers essentially um, blasting it uh, top, <laughs> blasting it through their micro ranges to liquidate their users or not liquidate them, just get them to pay market orders. But you can see here, guys, that um, we are close to getting the stop loss hit, which again is another sign that this could be over. This could be the top. Like I've said before, I don't think it is. I think there's always one more. If it is the top, fine. The short was to get in here. And the only way I'll actually look to sell or short is when we lose this area here. Okay, this area here is my, what I'm looking at. It's very likely we're going to get a bounce from this zone. And that will be the one where I go, okay, look, there's a, there's a pretty decent crack here because the actual structure now is changing. If we come down and lose the previous range of support and resistance, the SR levels, then we're looking at, okay, back in, back, and then if we break that, then I do think it's over. I think we're probably going to go significantly lower and come and take out some of the longs because if you look at the liquidation engine, I won't put it up now, but the liquidation engine is showing a lot of volume beneath us, guys. So let, let's just mention that. MDX Trading Bot, go get it on Bing X. You need to use the link in the description because it's a private link and then you can get access to the trading bot to help you trade. That is actually free, guys. You don't need MDX Algo for that. MDX Algo is for all of the indicators we have. And I will go through an indicator strategy, which is looking pretty nice right now. We should have some orange darts here coming into the bands here. Anyway, so I do think we're going to go a little bit lower, guys. I just want to take, get all the th things out of my mind of where we're going with this. So here's some juicy price action as well for all of you moon boys on the yearly candles. And guys, stick around. Stay to the end of this video. I'm about to do a massive giveaway, MDX users, and also give away some crypto. So stay right to the end. Like this video as well. I, don't even, I never say this, but apparently it helps. Like the video, guys, please, and subscribe to my channel so you can watch me day in, day out, this beautiful mug. Anyway, um, so guys, yearly candles, there is actually something which could be quite promising here. And if we do end the year, okay, if we do end the year above this hair, this wick on this candle, if we end the year above here as a, I'm saying a full body candle, that'll actually be a bullish engulfing candle of the prior year. And I don't have to say much. That means this is going to get fucking aggressive to the upside it will probably if it's a bullish engulfing candle it'll probably come down a little bit and then literally it's going to be very very likely guys if we get a bullish engulfing on the yearly that the next year is going to be higher than that candle so it's looking very promising on the yearly guys i actually did say uh, at the start of the year my january 1st forecast was that i do think we'd be at forty thousand dollars by the end of the year um and that's dependent on institutions stepping in i said 14 percent would be my number to break the all-time high Guess what? We're at about 10%. It makes sense. 10% institutions. 10% of Bitcoin is now owned by institutions, and that is ETFs, countries, public companies, and private companies, and some BTC mining companies now. They've got that on there, which is very nice to see. They've added to this. They have some decent APIs. Um, so that's looking really good. And now, Legends, let me do the giveaway because I do want to give some stuff away. So on my Twitter, guys, um, you will see, you will see this video, okay? All you got to do to enter, guys, is come and like this video, retweet it as well, and comment what you think about the content. Then somebody will win MDX Algo for life in that video. And also on this video as well, on the YouTube video, comment below on this YouTube video, you know, what's your position right now? Are you long or short? What's your thesis? The best, I want to hear some, I want to hear, I want to hear some, um, some analysis down there. Put your thesis. What do you think is going to happen? Are we going to go down to 12K? Are we going to go, it's a new all-time high. Tell me what's going to happen, guys, in your eyes. And I'll read through the comments. I'll literally read through them all. The best comment below, I'll literally send you a whole load of Bitcoin. I'll probably give you something like 300 bucks worth of Bitcoin. I'll give you an MDX Algo subscription and really put you through the uh, what we're doing actually at MDX Algo. Because right now, Legends, you a lot of guys don't know this right now. Right now, Legends, we've got some big shit happening in MDX Algo. Because obviously, you guys know we have the indicators and they've been killing it for the last seven, seven years. But... We've got our exclusive VIP traders group, but we've just launched our brand new one-on-one -on -one mentoring packages and one-on-one -on -one mentoring programs. 20 mentors, people who I used to know when I was starting out. You can get access to them, DM them, WhatsApp groups. And we have a whole new personalized one-on-one -on -one mentoring program. All you got to do, guys, 
is get an MDX Agus subscription. Or if you don't want to get it yet, you want to learn more about it, just um, go to the links in the description. I'll have a link which will be where you can book a call with one of the mentors. He'll give you a, he'll give you a free strategy session, talk to you about the company, talk to you about the indicators, talk to you about what strategies you can use to start making money. Complete like a consultation essentially with one of the mentors one of the experts, they'll chat with you and be like, yo, are you interested? And if you don't want to, fine. If you are like, okay, this is actually something which I'm interested in, then just go through, app, apply with the application, put down all your stuff, and then he will just say whether he thinks he can help you or not. This is not about just getting you in for nothing. This is about really building a specialized service. This is different to, everything's going AI and chat GBT and automated. We, I had a company meeting and I said, look, we want to go the opposite way. We want to make this personal. We want to make this individual and we want to give people a tailored solution like what has been happening for probably a hundred years in trading or in any industry, you have a tailored solution to you where it's like, you know, someone's going to be your mentor, whether you're going to fly a fucking jet or be a doctor or be a surgeon, someone's going to mentor you at the beginning, show you how to do it personally. You know, that's what we're trying to do. Bring that back into trading and one-on-one. -on -one, this is all live guys. I'll put a link in the description. You can just phone us up, do a demo call, check it out. Really promising. Anyway, a bit of a longer video from me. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me in the chat as well if you are uh, in the comments if you like the longer longer form. And uh, that's kind of my thesis there, guys. I do think there's probably one more. Um, if not, fine. This is it. I'm looking for this area to get broken. Can't really see it with my face in the way, can you? This area to get broken. I just think the likelihood is there's always one fucking more. And you're long until proven otherwise. And the otherwise will be here uh, breaking that uh, down to it up. I just basically told you. You're all legends, guys. Like the video as well. I'll see you on the flip side. You are all G's.